what we're talking about here is really powering aviation with renewable energy. Here you can see the storage function on the left that will be manufactured in Nantes and the distribution, feed, vent and, and refuel functions on the right hand side which will be manufactured in Bremen. We have launched the Fastnet tank in Nantes. We are doing the fabrication in Nantes because they are the reference shop for aluminium and we are fabricating a tank in aluminium. And we have launched the Fastmate coal box in Bremen because they have clear competence on system insulation and we want to leverage links with Ariane Group and Airbus and Defence and Space. The first big challenge we're facing um, is to become a very fast development garage within Airbus. All of this started by uh, making the first design in 3D in Toulouse by our uh, colleague. And then it was based mainly on the, what we call the co design phase, that means that they design something and we make sure that at the end it can be manufactured. So this was the first phase of the project and then once the D DMU was created, they transmitted us the drawing and we were in charge of making it happen by manufacturing, assembling and testing the parts all along the process. Can you imagine that in this very place, one year ago, there was just a blank shop floor with nothing and in a matter of a little bit more than one year, we have succeeded to build the first cryogenic tank ever made by Airbus and its cryogenic test lab. This is the cold box one. I would say cryogenic 20K is changing everything and all the process is completely unknown for us. This tank here is called the SOA. It is just the first step of many more to come. We will go from SOB to SOC and then to the next one called S1, which will be the first one to fly. So the next step, which we are preparing right now, is uh, Cold Box 2, which will, with, with every step, we are coming closer to the final uh, serial design. So the complexity is increasing um, and we are changing some components. Um, and with the next cold box, number two, we plan to perform tests with liquid hydrogen. I've been on this project for about 12 months now. It's been a wild ride um, and we've managed to achieve milestones and this is only been possible to a fantastic team that we've built, people who are willing to learn to go beyond their comfort zone. It's the teams, it's the, how the people work together in Hamburg, in Nantes, in Toulouse and in Bremen. We are all very proud to be part of this enthusiastic project. The energy and the agile way of working, that's really what makes it special for me and it's, it's only the start of the journey. Bye.